Black women are 41% more likely to die from breast cancer. The breast self-exam. You may see that abbreviated as BSE. You may see the self-breast exam abbreviated as SBE. Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll take a brief look at who, what, when, where, how, and why. Who would be you or a loved one, especially women, although breast cancer is sometimes diagnosed in men. We know of an example, Richard Roundtree. We'll take a closer look at what to look for. That is, this exam is not only tactile, meaning you touch or feel, palpate your breast, but it's also visual. You're going to look closely at your breast. Let's look also at when to examine and when to contact your health care provider. Now what we share with you is in no way a substitute for what you learn from your health care provider. This is just supplemental information. If you have a medical or health care emergency, please seek medical help immediately by going to your nearest, you already know it, emergency department. Now that we have the disclaimer out of the way, let's look a little more closely at when. So if you're still having your periods, you will want to do your examination a week after your period ends. If you're no longer having a period, then you would want to choose the same day every month. For example, here in Atlanta, many of us do it on the 11th of the month because they asked us to at Channel 11 News. Where would be your entire breast and under your arms? Now, as we gain weight or our breasts get larger, we may have tissue under our arms and we want to be sure to examine that and also all the way up to our clavicle or our collarbone. Where also may include your location. For instance, you may choose to do so in the shower or while lying down or standing in front of your mirror. Whichever way you choose, be consistent with that so you can recognize the difference because your breasts look different in different positions. How? Some choose the circular pattern while others choose the vertical pattern. Either way, make sure you're thorough. Why? Well, one main reason is because early screening leads to early detection, which leads to an early diagnosis, which leads to early treatment. And therefore, it would increase one's rate of survival from breast cancer. That's a beautiful thing. Now, let's look more closely at what to look for. We'll look at 12, that is a dozen, signs or symptoms. Here we go. You might see or feel a lump in your breast or your armpit, the axillary region. If this happens, don't be alarmed. It could be benign. But either way, you get checked out by a medical professional. Number two, there might be a thickened area of your breast. Three, there might be swelling of your breast. Four, there might be skin, S-K-I-N, irritation on your breast. Five, there might be one or more dimples on the skin of your breast. Six, you might have nipple area redness. Number seven, you might have a nipple area with flaky skin. It may look extra dry or scaly to you. Eight, you might have blood from a nipple, discharge from a nipple other than breast milk. Cancer in the area of the nipple is called Paget's disease. Nine, the nipple may be pulling in a direction. It may be pointed left, right, up, or down. It could be pointing toward cancer in a certain area. 10. There may be a change in the shape of the breast. There may be a change in the size of one of your breasts. We're not talking about during pregnancy when both breasts are swollen. 
12, you may notice breast pain in an area. Let's look at a bonus sign. This is something you would want to look out for. It's called podorange. A podorange means skin of an orange. It's referred to this way because it looks like the outside of an orange. It looks like an orange, not necessarily in color, but in texture. It's usually because of fluid buildup, which your healthcare provider would refer to as edema. The epidermis does expand to make room for the swelling. Picture buttons on a cushion. So that's how these evenly spaced pores on your skin, in this case, tend to hold spots down. When that happens, it forms these little pits or these little holes. And that's how they get to resemble the outside of an orange. And this might cause the breast to feel heavy, swollen, or sore. Now we know that other things can cause the breast to feel heavy, swollen, or sore. For instance, pregnancy, breastfeeding, or being on your period. But this has the distinction of those little pits. This could be the sign and symptom of inflammatory breast cancer. Additional signs and symptoms of inflammatory breast cancer like pain, tenderness, itching, and as we discussed earlier, one breast is larger or heavier than the other and it could be swollen and there could be warmth there. You know, when we think of inflammation, we think of redness, swelling, heat, or pain. And they have all of that. You could have a flat or pointed inward nipple also. I'll fill you in a little bit about what happened to me. I had a number of these symptoms. In fact, the doctors were concerned that I had inflammatory breast cancer. I did not, thankfully. But let's look at what did happen. So, I was waking up in the morning with on my pajamas or whatever I wore to bed. On my shoulder, there were like spots of blood. Not on the shoulder, but on the garment. So, I was curious because I was unable to locate the source of the bleeding. There was no sore on my shoulder, my chest, or anything. So one night I wore a bra to bed. This was a few weeks later, right? And when I wore the bra, I awakened the next morning and I saw there was this spot that was red right where my nipple was. I was working at a doctor's office at the time. So of course, I took the bra to work with me and showed it to one of the female physicians. She examined me and she decided to go ahead and test it. It was blood, but it showed that it was negative for cancer. She and I were still concerned. She said oftentimes it's hard to find cancer in fluid. So she sent me to a surgical oncologist. The surgical oncologist doubted that it was cancer because it was the nipple. And that's only 4% of the breast cancer, that Paget's type, right? So she did an ultrasound. That was a negative. Mammogram negative. So she decided to go ahead and take the duct out. Remove the duct because she said the bleeding wasn't going to stop. So she did a ductectomy. Lo and behold, it was cancer. So when she announced that to me, my tears rolled down one cheek. And I'll share more with you later. I want to share some tips about navigating through chemotherapy and radiation and some things that are helpful. So stay tuned for my next video. If you found value in this video, please subscribe, get notified, like, comment, and share. In the comment section, please leave a yes or a no if you or someone you know has had breast cancer. Unfortunately, some of us have succumbed. If you feel comfortable sharing your experience in the comments, please do so. And please do a video on it so more people can see it. If you feel comfortable, if a loved one has had breast cancer or another type of cancer, please share that. If you subscribe or like, that's a free way of supporting this channel and it gives others a chance to see it because of the algorithm. So please, please subscribe, like, share, 
comment, all of that helps. Look forward to hearing from you and seeing you on the next video. We love you. Bye.